Hey everyone, Andy here, and today I'm checking out the C500 uh, from Canon along with the uh, Gemini 444 recorder. The last time we saw the uh, Gemini, I was showing you how to use it with the, uh, with the Arri Alexa, recording both raw and traditional video. Uh, and now they've added the ability to record in uh, Canon RAW as well. So I can use the Gemini as a video recorder and an HD with the C500 or as a RAW recorder in 4K with that camera. So uh, this video really is about post-production, how you can work with the uh, Gemini material. But first I wanted to show you just briefly that you can hook this guy up um, with, a, with the C500 for 4K use or for traditional video. Uh, the settings work exactly the same as you expect. I just changed the mode to Canon RAW, changed my camera to Canon RAW, and voila, I'm recording 4K. There is one exception though in the difference between a traditional Airy RAW up to say 30p and, and this is that uh, the Gemini uh, requires two drives at once to record Canon RAW. The data rates are just so darn high on Canon RAW, which is a 4K uncompressed format, it's a very big format, uh, that I need two drives to, uh, to handle the bandwidth requirements. Basically, I need to write alternating frames between the both drives. Frame zero goes on the first drive, frame one on the next, et cetera, back and forth. So when I download the material in a minute, you'll see I have two folders for one clip. Uh, and they have a merging utility which we can open uh, to work with that. So, um, so Canon RAW uh, on this guy, very simple, very easy to use. I, w I went ahead before uh, getting started here and I've uh, uh, recorded both a another video sequence as well as Canon RAW for us to check out here in post. And so I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, footage using uh, this little rec uh, reader. Uh, this is the uh, Gemini transfer station here, as you can see it. Uh, Gemini transfer station uh, interfaces with the GoFlex adapter. This is the uh, Thunderbolt adapter from GoFlex. GoFlex is from Seagate. It comes in USB 3, Go, uh, Firewire 100. Uh, I like Thunderbolt because it's fast, uh, but any adapter you want will we'll hook up with this guy, plug the drive in, and then it will mount on my computer here. So I'm recording my screen now, and I should be able to see that my Gemini 444 drive is attached, and inside that folder here is a clips folder, and inside that I have two clips, uh, one with the, uh, a long extension, and the, uh, which, is, which ends with SSD1, and the second one with just a simple name that I've set up, test, and then the clip name. Uh, these are, are both uh, clips from the Gemini, one, of course, is raw data. You can see that in here. This RMF is Canon raw data. Uh, and you can see the alternating frames, one, three, five. And the other one is a simple DPX sequence. You can see just in a row, DPX is traditional video as far as the Gemini is concerned. Uh, but both have to be converted, the raw data and the DPX, to video to be used in many applications. Um, some NLEs can work with uh, DPX files natively but we're going to assume that you want to convert the DPX to something like uh, ProRes before you go uh, on into editorial. So there's those two clips there. I do need to download my alternate SSD now in order to, uh, in order to uh, work with the raw material. So I've already gone ahead and done that and on my Thunderbolt drive here, which is a separate drive I have attached, I have uh, all my material. Uh, there's the uh, SSD1 and SSD2 here together. Now, I need to merge these clips uh, into one in order to work with the SSD material. So I could simply just go into each folder and take the alternating frames, copy and paste them together, and it would work fine the, that way. But of course, uh, Convergent has come up with a solution, the Gemini Clip Merger program. Here it is, Gemini Clip Merger. And what that does is allow me to uh, set a uh, a folder and merge two things together. So I'll find my clips, there they are. Make a new folder called AA002001. That's my clip name. I'll put these two folders inside of it like that. Great. And now if I come back here again, go back to my Canon RAW, there's my folder that I've created. So basically what I'm doing here is I've combined two folders into one. And I can say go ahead and merge this folder. It says file merge successfully completed. That's great. Okay, so there we go. Now in this, in this clip, if I go in there, you'll see I have every frame. So it's, all, it's no longer alternating frames, just going together. So there it is, merge together, Canon RAW. Now, if I was using a, a, an Arri Alexa, I wouldn't need to do this uh, uh, below uh, 30 frames or so uh, for RAW. 
if I go be, uh, beyond 30 frames, the same process could be used. The, the Gemini can use both drives this way. It's a way of getting more bandwidth. So uh, I also have some Airy Raw material on here just to look at. Uh, here on my drive, uh, I have a folder which has some Airy Raw material that was also shot with the Gemini. Uh, here it is, Airy Alexa. And you can see I, the Airy, Airy Alexa uh, stores raw data in a file stack uh, of .ari files. This is uh, every frame gets its own raw file. Um, it is around six, seven megabytes of frame as opposed to our um, Canon raw material, which is around uh, 11 meg 12 megabytes of frame. So Canon raw is significantly bigger, but they both store data in basically the same way. That is, they, uh, they, that all the raw material is stored in file stacks, which then can be viewed. Uh, just like that, DPX works very similarly in terms of it's a file stack as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, Resolve, which is a uh, free program if you, uh, if you get the light version. The Resolve has paid and free versions of it. The light version is free and works up to 1080, 1080p resolution, so this is a great option for many, uh, for many people. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Resolve here, uh, and this is going to allow me to work with both the DPX file stacks as well as the raw materials. So uh, again, free program, opens it up and can export uh, various formats, including ProRes and DNX HD. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as the admin here and start a, D, a new project, just in 1080. That's all I'm concerned about right this minute. Uh, and then go ahead and load up the clips that I just created uh, from this Canon RAW and DPX file stack. And you'll see here that I have my RAW material and inside there's my new clip. And here is my clip and you can see I can kind of scrub through it up here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and come down here and make a new bin called video. And I'll go ahead and import this file right into there. There's my video file just like that. Uh, and now I'm going to go ahead uh, and uh, import my DPX file. Same thing. And there it is in my video folder. So those files both in Resolve and you can see I can scrub through them uh, just like that and that's my DPX file, and here's my RAW file. And you can see they look very similar. That blue bar is created because I haven't paid for my license yet on, my, on, on the Gemini. It just puts the blue bar until you pay for the Canon license. But there it is. It looks very similar because uh, they're both shot in Canon Log, essentially, uh, and they're using the same sensor, obviously. The big difference is that here you see that I have a 4K resolution in the 4K material, and here I have a 1080p resolution in the uh, video material. So the same process works uh, for both. Now, if I was going to work with my Airy Raw material, I could go ahead and open that up uh, and bring that in as well. Here's an Airy Raw clip that we shot previously in another class. Uh, and just like that, there's Airy Raw working the same exact way. So the next step here, though, is to sync some audio with this, which I want to do in the next video. So uh, this is the process for working with uh, the Gemini. It's very straightforward. Uh, Resolve uh, is an easy program to use. Again, it's free on the internet. Uh, the light version, uh, definitely worth checking out. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.